died. Okay, you are. I don't know. Mm -hmm. okay. You know they want to kill you now. Do you know that? Um, I don't know. You are not aware. No. I'll tell you that uh, at this moment you can be a person to follow. Okay. Because of your health. I'm sure we'll pray for you. Look at these dreams that you're also having. Sometimes dreamy dead people. This thing must stop. So I believe this case will live. Because I'm happy that this lady is here to bring you. She's my auntie. She's your auntie? Yeah, the young sister is my father. I was asking myself, who killed you? And don't do any wrong business. Do you hear me? I said what? Don't do any wrong business. You want to do business? Yeah, please. Hmm? Please. No wrong business. Do you hear me? No wrong business. Because sometimes when things are falling, people can do any business. Sometimes when we talk, people just say, ah, they're just talking. So, and we are not just talking. So I'm sure we'll pray for you. Thank you. Yes. They just do the wrong business. Sometimes when we talk, people are thinking, ah, it's just talking. <laughs> so, yeah, this way, it's just talking. So the, the, that issue was very serious, very serious. So, but I'm trusting God that she'll be free today. Amen. She'll be free. You see what your pastor trying to say to someone, don't do a wrong business. Someone will say, what, what is this man talking about? And what is a wrong business? So God loves us. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. So today you should be a Christian. Mama, I'm sure after today you'll be a Christian. I want so. Yes. Uh, God loves you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Those people, the visitors. Yes. Jesus. Jesus, my dear. She's free. Let's My name is Stengsi Wembezi, Mrs. Vudzijena. I come from Zimbabwe, city of Mashingo. Uh, the reasons that made me to come here is that I am not well. I've been suffering from legs uh, since 2017. So I decided to come here so that I meet the men of God. So that I, I they are very sore 
of which sometimes it will be very difficult for me to walk, especially here on the knees. I wasn't unable to walk, but I was feeling much pain. I met Prophet Andris. He told me about my health. Firstly, he told me that uh, he asked me where was my husband. I told him that my husband uh, died long back. He told me that he is seeing a spirit of death on me, of which that's what makes me to feel sick. Uh, he told me that uh, he sees Today I'm suffering from that, the other day with that. He asked me when last was, I went to the doctor, I told him, according to me, what he told me, uh, it was true because I once heard about that. Secondly, he told me about my children, of which I know that also. He asked me where my children were, and uh, he told me that he's going to pray for them so that they don't have, they don't get that spirit of. Uh, that I, uh, they mustn't uh, get that spirit which makes which made my husband to die. Thirdly. So, thirdly, he asked me. Uh, sorry, thirdly, he saw that I was into this business of selling clothes, of which was very true, and uh, he said. I mustn't do another bed business. I confirmed that, yes, Prophet, I was into this business of selling cigarettes. He said, yeah, that's what he was seeing. He, saw, he also told me about alcohol, of which I told him that I am drinking alcohol. So... What I can say is that what Prophet told me was true because I know everything which he told me. He also, we also spoke about this other man, which whom I was staying with him for quite a long time. He saw that. Uh, He's having my clothes and my other things, but he said all will be well. I feel so relieved. I feel so relieved. I believe that I am delivered. I would encourage some people to come because here yeah, is a very, very, very free place. Uh, before we saw Prophet one in one, we went to the prayer mountain, and the, there's a lot of of free time to pray. And what I liked mostly about Prophet, he is a very free man. I would like to encourage people to come so that they get their deliverance.